Hi, I'm Pratima. I'm here to read a story from the book Versatile Characters in the World of Kaka and I have chosen the character Prahalada. Nambadirthanu tande, nambidanu prahalada, nambiyu nambadiruva ippandi ninu, kambadino, bimbadino, moksha avaringe aitu, simbaladino na ninu manko timma. To summarize, his father was a non-believer, whereas Prahalada was a true believer of God. We are neither here nor there and are in a very difficult situation. Through pillow of belief, Hiranyakashibu and Prahalada were able to attain their salvation. On the other hand, we are stuck in a dilemma like a fly which gets stuck in mucus and is not mindful whether to escape or continue being there. Mankutimma. The story behind the character is, Hiranyakashibu is one of the most dreadful demons in the mythological space. He had done a strong penance and got a boon from Lord Brahma which made him so powerful as the boon he wished was never to be killed by any man or animal, not at a daytime or night time, neither inside nor outside and not above or below, thereby making him almost impossible to be defeated. So he was unstoppable and his ruckus had no end. Hiranyakashibu had a son and he named him Prahalada. This kid from very young age was devoted towards God Vishnu and started to chant prayers to praise the Lord. Teachers fearing his father reported the activities of Prahalada for which Hiranyakashibu became very angry and sought his son to the palace. He tried to explain and convince Prahalada that his father was the greatest of all and everybody should abide to him by praising chants about him and there is no god who is equivalent to him. But Prahalada never listened to him and his devotion towards Lord Vishnu didn't diminish a bit. He said, Lord Vishnu is the ultimate one. Hiranyakashipu lost his school and ordered death to his own son. Demons tried various ways of killing young Prahalada, like getting him bitten by a snake, throwing him from a hilltop, stomping with an elephant and many other ways. But each and every time, God came to Prahalada's rescue and he was sent back unhurt. Hiranyakashibu, without finding any other way, confronted Prahalada and questioned him. Where is your God? Let me know so that I can kill him in front of you and show you who is the superior one. For which Prahalada replied, My God is omnipresent and you can find him anywhere. Hiranyakashibu was fuming with this reply and asked, If that is the case, is a God present in any of these pillars? And showed the big majestic pillars in his palace, for which Prahalada said with determination, Yes, my God is present within that too. Hiranyakashibu couldn't control any more and hit the pillar with his weapon, which is Gate, and the pillar was broken into two, from which Lord Narasimha, an avatar of Lord Vishnu, half human and half lion, came out and killed Hiranyakashibu with his fingernails, thereby satisfying all the condition of his bone. Later, Narasimha granted salvation to Prahalada. The moral is... Stick to your own beliefs and intuition, no matter how hard the situation is, you will attain the results you are looking for. In this kaga, DVJ uses the difficulties and hardship Prahalada undergoes to, to sustain his beliefs and trust, to instill confidence in us, to believe and to keep backing our dreams, no matter how hard the situation is. DVG sarcastically teases us to come out of dirt and take a standpoint. Thank you.